Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about a book I recently- okay, I didn't recently read it. It was like a couple weeks ago I read it. Called Of Poseidon. <laughs> Gotta get the cover on my camera so I can uh, tell you what it's like. If my internet will work. So, here we go. This is the cover. If you can see it. So it's like the main character underwater and it says up beside it. So I'm gonna like tell you what I think based off of the cover without like telling you what the book's about. So I actually I wrote down initial thoughts before I read it so I'll tell you that. So I obviously mermaid novel is what I wrote down. I mean like let me get this back up for you. Like, she's underwater. And she's like, even her legs are like, together. So like, of Poseidon, Poseidon's like, underwater and stuff, so, mermaids. And then I said, I read the description on the back and like, the main character's name is Emma, so. I said Emma is obviously like, the key to helping his kingdom, because I mean, she's the main character. She's on the front of the book. And then I was just making random guesses now. I'm like, does she... So, oh, because on the back it says, like, she speaks to a fish or something like that. And then I was like, speaks to fish, does that mean she's part mermaid or something? Because I don't know any humans that can do that. So how there's that. And then I just, based off of other mermaid books I've read, I said, does a kiss turn you into a mermaid or something because I've read some books that are like that. I don't know. So that's the base off of the cover. And my cover art rating was a 2.5 because of some pretty basic art if you ask me. I mean, it's just a girl underwater. I just, it's not, it's not like super boring but it's not like, oh my gosh. It's no Rick Reardon cover art. I'm just saying I love his cover art. So yeah. Um so I'm gonna try to give a spoiler for your review now. Without giving away everything. So this book it's basically just about this girl named Emma who is the main character. She's on vacation with her best friend Chloe. And she's on the boardwalk, and she run literally, she runs into this guy, like, runs into this guy. <laughs> like, when have you actually ever run into a guy? Especially an attractive one. I wish. I wish. So, she runs into this guy, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And she looks up, and he's got the same colored eyes as her. And this isn't, like, no basic blue green or anything. It's like this vibrant I think it was green. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a vibrant or maybe it was like lavender. It was lavender I think. It was lavender. Sorry. I don't have the minute details in there. Um but it was like a color that no one ever has and her friend's like, Oh my gosh, Emma, look, they have your eyes because his twin sister's with him. And she's like, Whoa <laughs> And then they make some comments, and then they're like, deuces, we're gonna go surfing. And Galen, who is the guy she ran into, and his sister are like, surfing? Right now? Really? But they go do it. They get in the water, they're just sitting on their surfboards, chilling. And then Galen's like, watching them, because he's like, how is she blonde, but she has her eyes? Because the typical... Serena is what the mermaids are called. They have like dark skin, dark hair, and their eyes. And she's like pale, like me, and blonde. And he's like watching them, and then he sees a shark a coming. So he jumps in the water to go after it. But the shark gets there and it attaches onto Chloe, her best friend's leg. Suspense. Suspense. <laughs> I know. Attaches onto her leg and. She's like, ah! And Emma jumps into the water to help her friend. I'm sorry, but I would not jump into the water if there was a shark. Just saying. 
and she like literally tells this shark, stop. And like all of this is happening, uh, Galen's like invisible right there, and he like sees it, and he's like, whoa, 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 and so uh, her friend dies. Depressing, I know, but her friend dies, and she goes home, which is like across the country, and she's like at school, all depressed and mopey and stuff. And Galen shows up. And she's like, Why are you here, boy? And I'm not gonna really give away anything else, but like, he's mostly there just to see, like, what's up with her because she's got these colored eyes, but not like this dark skin and dark hair. Dark hair's the best. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just a lot of like mystery because like you don't know what she is because she's got these eyes and um, a bit of fantasy because there's mermaids and a bit of romance because I mean there's a hot guy and the girl who literally ran into I mean you, you run into the guy let's be honest when you run into the guy you're probably gonna end up with him have you read all the books just saying. And I honestly I thought it was... I'm not going to give it a rating because I don't like to give ratings. I, I posted this on my blog. I don't really want to give ratings anymore because I kind of just feel really bad for the authors if I give them a horrible rating if I didn't like the book. But I feel with every author I like and dislike things so I'll say like what I like and what I disliked but I won't give a physical rating. So. Um, so here's some things I liked and disliked. So I liked her version of my, what's her name? I didn't write down authors in that. Amanda ba oh. Anna Banks. I liked her version of like what she did with the mermaids and certain aspects of what the main character is that I'm not gonna say. And I just think she like did it very well without being like the typical thing for all the mermaids. You know, you've read all the books where it's like, I'm a mermaid, but I didn't know it. Or, I'm a mermaid and I can't kiss you or else you're gonna turn into a mermaid. Or there's no way you can turn into a mermaid. But I just like how she like put certain things in that aren't usual. Like, the violet eyes. Like, I've never seen something like that in a mermaid book before. Or that they all have the same skin color and hair color. It's just very interesting. And I really liked how she did that. But I also didn't like how some of the stuff in her books just really basic. It happens a lot in other books. Like how she literally ran into the guy. Like obviously when you literally run into the guy you're going to end up with the guy. I just didn't like that part of it. I thought it was kind of cheesy. But otherwise I thought it was a really well written book. Personally, I mean, you might not like it, but I liked it. And if you like mermaid books or just fantasy books, I would suggest going and reading. I got it from Book Outlet for like five bucks. No, not even five bucks. It was like two or less, I think. And I wasn't expecting much, but I actually I read it super fast, and then I ended up reading the other two books in the series, and I really liked it. I mean, the third book I didn't really like that much, but minor detail. Um. The first book was the best, just saying. Isn't it always that way, though? But I think it was a good book, and I would suggest that. Um, maybe if it's still on Book Outlet, I'll just link it down below for you. And I think that's all I have to say about this book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more reviews, even if you want me to review a certain book, just comment it. And if I have it, I'll review it. Or maybe I'll buy it and read it and review it for you, so. Ah, uh, please go subscribe and smash that like button. And follow me on Insta and Twitter. And comment, because you love me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.